Here is my 150 watt Renogy uh, mono blah, 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 solar panel. Yeah, I don't know how to say the rest of it. I, I could if I looked at the word again, but it's from Renogy. Everything looks awesome on it. They, they, they packed it very well. It's packed up in here with a bunch of foam all around it. That sucker was tight in that box. And luckily I got the box without a mark on it. Because we all know how shipping companies are. They usually don't give a shit. But I think it's pretty big. It's compared to my little, little truck. But. It's not the lightest thing in the world, but I mean, it's not heavy, but it's kind of awkward because it's so wide. I don't know how wide the 100 watt panels are. I'm guessing like, I'm guessing it'd be that and then another half. So there's four panels. Yeah, that's that's right. So I'm guessing the 100 watt panels cut off here. And that would be how big a 100 watt panel is. Probably easier to maneuver around, but since this is 150 watts, another half of the 100 one. I've got this extra set here. So pretty cool um also i had a uh i'll just show you real quick hold with me don't get dizzy i'm trying to move fast so you don't get bored look at this guy where'd you go look at him almost all the way back in here this guy lives in my garage i can boot him out of here i don't know how many times but he wants to live right by my dehumidifier drain and he was over there and then he seen I was gone for a minute getting that panel, so he scooches his ass over here farther. You see? Yeah, hey, you're running because you're scared because you know it's pissing me off. There's my drain for my dehumidifier. He likes to live by, shithead. But anyway, back here on my block garage, I thought I was going to have to bust a hole in it. But right here, out back, that's where a drain was, which wasn't doing anything. Um, I don't know if it's ever been used. It was clogged up with dirt because I've never really had a flood in my garage. So I kind of, I don't know, I poured some concrete in there to kind of keep it back that way. Any water that would come in. So that was cool. Because my panel's going to go back here. But this guy has got to come down. But I can't really do it by myself because that's a power line. Like, I could cut it down, no problem. I have chainsaws. Um, but, to be safe, I kind of want somebody to be here to pull on that tree. To make sure it comes down this way. But, my panel will probably sit, like, right here. So, right next to my garage. It'll loop in right down in there. And it'll go right over there. That's a window back there. And that's where my board is setting. So, just a short run of wire. So, yeah. Hopefully I get more juice from it. You stay out. Yeah, yeah, it's just a little frog. The most I worry about is stepping on him. I don't care about him being in here as much as I do is stepping on him, but now you see what a Renogy 150 watt panel looks like. I gotta figure out what to do with that tree and oh yeah, eight gauge fits in here in my little cheapo twelve dollar controller. So this 8 gauge wire, this is what I'm going to use to connect it to my batteries and um, I actually have some long runs so I'm going to do a positive on this end and a negative is going to stretch all the way down on that end so it's like I'm using the whole bank. <clears throat> and then I have some, I think it's 10 gauge, yeah see that down there, I think that's 10 gauge pump wire, that's for like well pumps that we use because I'm a plumber. I'm going to use it until I get um a strand of eight gauge because I, I probably got enough eight gauge around here to piece a bunch together but i want one continuous strand to get to this controller so i get i don't have the splicing you know the um resistance so you know more temporary stuff until i have other stuff coming in the mail all right i'm gonna show you guys a little trick with my 150 watt energy solar panel this is the back, obviously. It is upside down. From the videos I watched, people said these came with, uh, they were labeled. Sorry. They had these connectors on them. 
I cut those connectors off because I don't need them. That's just for, I don't know, easy, easy uh, connecting. But if you just cut them off, strip the wire, you come with wire. And uh, I seen from a Facebook buddy of mine, he cut these off, so that's just one less connection. Or that's like uh one two i don't know five less connections you know resistive resistance anyway uh mine did not come labeled there was nothing on these showing positive and negative um so first i went to a youtube video and the youtube video i watched showed this being the positive which made sense to me because it had this little red ring on it here, you know, not saying anything, but it just had a red ring. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But then I went to uh, Renergy's, Renergy's website and uh, went to this. It was uh, how to hook up um, a 100 watt starter kit. And on this 100 watt panel, I mean, mine's 150 watt. The one the guy was hooking up in the video was a 100 watt one. Renergy actually says on their website on this how to hook this panel up video or not video uh layout it shows the female as being positive and it says specifically on there do not wire things backwards because you can damage your um <clears throat> your charge controller which mine was twelve dollars whoop de do you know my uh ugh. Twelve dollar one that I'm getting ready to try out here. Uh, sorry, I hate when people mention something and don't say it or don't show it. This is from eBay. Just a little cheapo PWM charger. But uh, anyway, it'll damage your charge controller. And if you have the one that I want to get, or one expensive like it, uh, the one I want is the Renogy 40 uh, 40 amp controller. It's about two hundred fifty dollars. That's not cool to hook up. Uh, backwards you don't want to blow that up but so I don't know I'll probably give Renergy a call and uh, say something about that because it is wrong on this panel and the one that I've seen now ha here's how I tested it here's how you can test it it's a simple voltmeter from Walmart 20 bucks okay see it's on 12 volt this is gonna be very hard to do one-handed and hold a camera but you just take this Man, oh man, can I do this? I don't know. Sheesh. If I can set that on... Is that here? Shit. Sorry, I'm trying to see how I can set this up so you can see it. There's got to be a way. crap okay anyway i'm sorry i can't show you and hold the camera i just physically cannot do it touch your positive to one touch your negative to the other if it's correct there will be no minus sign right here if the polarity is backwards and you have your red on your negative and your black on your positive If it's backwards, there'll be a minus sign. If it's correct, it'll be just like that right there. Only mine actually said like 144. Man, I didn't want to make this into a super long video. Come on. I just can't make the stretch. Come on. Almost. Dang it. I'm touching right there. Barely. Okay. Let me see if I can switch them around here. I know this is wrong because I've already tested these a few times. Come on. I wish I was a master at chopsticks. Come on. See that? See that? See that negative? 
It's because I got them touching backwards. This one's my positive. I had it hooked up like that. This one over here is my positive. You can do that with batteries too. You know, a simple thing. Um, just, they could even still, it's still counting down on there. That's what my meter does. When you touch something, it kind of counts it down. Trying to go back to normal. What's a cheap $20 Walmart meter, but minus mean you have means you have them backwards. I'm sure, there's a way more simple way to do it, but I'm not an electrical genius. I'm just a car audio dude, so I know a little tricks and tips of all whatnot. So now you know how to test your panels. Thanks a lot, Renergy, for uh, for one not labeling, and two saying it wrong on your website. That would have been a bad bad deal. Uh, it could have been if I would have hooked it up like I seen on their website. Could have burned up my bad oh twelve dollar solar charger, or I could have had the hundred or two hundred fifty dollar one like I want and blew that up, and I would have been pissed. So yeah, now you know.